Hi, so if anybody was wondering, like I was, until two days ago, what the Rage Instant uh, Silk Blend Instant Coffee Vanilla Velvet tastes like. I just tried it out for the first time. I tried out Rage Coffee for actually the second, first, second time actually, because yesterday I had had a cup of the same coffee, but with pure milk, with just milk added to it. And right now I had had it with a bit of water majority of it water and this method allows me to taste the coffee instead of just you know taste some milky thing with a bit of a coffee flavor so i wanted to try out this flavor specifically and uh, the review is i actually got it in the form of a combo bundle sort of an order from amazon uh, there was a frother it was supposed to be from the range company but it was not from the range company because on the box the word rage was printed on the box the cardboard box it was just a simple cardboard box but on the frother there is no brand name so i'm assuming it's just an off brand uh, generic coffee frother which is good i probably i i don't remember i got it for 179 there were about 20 sachets 20 20 sachets i guess 15 or 20 sachets it was a good order it was of, as a gift for someone and there were uh, four uh, four yes four simple plain coffees three hazelnut three co chocolate three vanilla i think so three twelve five maybe one more was there something like that there was this uh, distribution or maybe four four each four of three types and five uh, just unflavored instant now I have not tried the other flavors, I have heard the chocolate is good but the vanilla velvet is okayish. It's okayish in the sense I can smell the vanilla but I cannot just smell vanilla. There is a lot of fruity undertones in that which kind of honestly caught me off guard a little. I was not expecting so much of fruitiness, there was like a cherry undertone. Then uh, the vanilla flavor was not very overpowering. There was just a bit of vanilla with a lot of other fruity undertones and you might like it if you have it the coffee per se is not bitter it's nice i had it in a very average proportion of about 170 to 200 ml or maybe less than that i had it in this cup i had it in this cup which is not a small cup it's not a big cup also it's something in between so i don't know exactly how much this cup holds it could be um could be one more than 150 more than about 170 milliliters i'm assuming i do not know the actual um, actual volume of this cup and in the sachet oh by the way the sachet itself costs six rupees but i don't know if you can get this loose offline or online i'm not aware of that and it is five kilocalories the calorie content five 5.31 one gram of carbohydrate 0 0.31 grams of protein zero fat and um, ingredients in the ingredients it says 100 percent pure coffee arabica we'll assume it is true we'll assume that rage is not lying we'll assume virat kohli is not lying and uh, it says the instructions how to use uh, pour the contents of the sachet in 150 milliliters of hot or cold water or milk I will not put use it for 150 milliliters because I get never I never get satisfied with 150 milliliters of coffee or tea. I want at least like, at least 200 to 300 ml. Um, it was good. I could taste the coffee. It was just very fruity. I don't know why it was so fruity. I've never had vanilla flavored coffees from other companies. I have tried country bean hazelnut, which I really liked, which I really really liked, and I think. It is it's not worth every penny it's not worth 400 rupees but if you can get it for cheaper like i got the country bean for 200 rupees last year from flipkart so if you can get it for cheaper it's worth buying at least the hazelnut and from what i've heard the vanilla too but the rich vanilla i'm not too sure and this is a sachet i am not sure if this is exactly what you get in the bottles the jars the glass jars so um I would suggest if you like very fruity undertoned coffees you can get this one or it's just best to stick to something a little costlier like country bean 
or if you want rage if you absolutely do want rage you can try the chocolate i've heard it's good i have not tried it myself and about the unflavored one i'm assuming it will be good from what i've had from the amount of coffees i've had i'm assuming it will be good thank you